Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. And in this video, we will learn how to write your test cases and how to write an effective test cases. And we will see in the live example, I'm going to show you with the proper demo as well as a proper template, how you can write your test cases. What are the important fields in the test cases, which maybe you are missing right now, or what are the best practices that I have learned personally with over 10 years experience. All right. So let's get started. All right, guys, first, first of all, let's understand the requirements. So this is uh, in this uh, video, right? I'm basically uh, taking a little different step where we will be doing live project and we'll see like example also. Okay. And we'll, I'll give you a template also that you can download and also a problem statement where you can write your own test cases and I'll try to review them and you can put them into Excel sheet and com comment down below with, with a shared link, shared link of your uh, Excel sheet. I'll try to review them. And if you are writing, if you are basically writing a very good uh, test cases, right, then probably you will get some goodies on this. Okay. So let's get started. Right. So let's understand the requirement first. So for, for example, generally, so we have a very simple application, which is this one. It's a login application. Uh, it's a basically a login page for vw.com where you, you can enter your username and password and click on the sign up button. Okay. So what are the different test cases that you can write? Right. So that this is where we, what we are going to learn. And basically we will understand also what exactly test cases right now. Okay. So we'll basically go through the valid test cases as well as the invalid test cases and we will have a template ready for you that you can use it. Okay. The link in the description, don't worry about it. You will get the link. Okay. Let's understand the test cases and the difference between test case and test scenario, because this is where it gets confused. Lots of people are still confused uh, exactly uh, what we have to write in test case. Okay. So let me zoom a little bit. Okay. So if you see, uh, let me pull up my marker first. Okay. And here is a highlighter yellow, right? Test case. If you see, it's a documentation with a step-by-step -step instruction to execute a various actions under the defined conditions. What exactly it means. Let me make it little. Yeah. Okay. So test case is nothing but a step-by-step -step instruction to do something. Okay. Whereas if you see test scenarios, these are just a one liners. Let me give you a very clear point with this live example. Okay. Now we have a login page to test, right? Think about it. What are the major or you can say high level test cases that you can write? You can write with a valid test username and password. And second one will be the invalid username and password, right? These are the two major important scenarios, right? You can add valid username, valid password. This is your one scenario. Valid username, wrong password, invalid scenario. Invalid username, invalid scenario. Again, invalid scenario. Valid username, valid password. And these are four important things that you can try out, right? And most of them are falls under the invalid scenario and there is only one which is valid username and valid password which will give you a proper positive result which we call it valid, valid scenario. So we have divided high level into valid and invalid and under that we have basically two or three more cases that we have added. These are scenarios because right now these are just one liners that we have added. Now what about the proper instruction how to basically enter what are the steps to execute uh, what were the actual result? What will happen if I basically do this? These are test cases. Okay. So test scenarios are high level one liners. And uh, so basically you create test cases from a test scenarios. This is where it is important. Okay. So whenever a interviewer asks you that what exactly is a test case, you can say that first of all, we created test scenarios and out of test scenarios, we basically take out the test cases. Test scenarios are basically created from the requirement which is shared. So I have shared the requirement first, right? These are the requirements. Awesome. So if you see test cases are derived from a test scenario that I have told you, right? And test case, test scenarios are basically derived from a client requirement, SRS, or you can say it's a software requirement or document, something like this. Uh, uh, test cases have a in-depth information. So it in-depth basically means it has steps to execute, exit credit, I mean, or actual result, expected results. What are the test important fields we will discuss in this video, in this, uh, uh, in this section also. Okay. So test scenarios is just a one-liner overview. What you are gonna do. Clear. This is clear. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Let's understand what are the important fields in the test cases sheet. Okay. So if you see, first of all, we have a, let me let take it at yellow. Uh, so we have a test ID scenario ID. You can say test scenario ID. We have a test description. You can write it out your description. Also, we can have a test ID precondition is important. So I'll mark it test steps to do into this is important. So I'll mark it as star post condition is important. Expected results is important. Actual result is important. Status you can mark it. Priority. What will be? What is the priority of it? Is this test case? It's executed by who created it and comments. 
and you can write something called as uh, project information also let's so let's jump into the this one sample okay let me make myself a little smaller so here i have prepared you a template for you guys what you can do is you can basically mention the project name for example vw app module name you can say it's a login vw app is a parent login is a module okay created by pramod created date today's date peer review suppose amit is reviewing it or a date so generally test cases are getting reviewed by someone so they we are adding it so now we have entered all the fields that i have discussed with you and last one if you see it's a comment misc if you want to add any information okay so let's quickly create a sample for this okay awesome i have pre prepared for you guys especially all right so this is uh, where it comes in uh, we have i have so basically project name let's do it like a login pay vw login vw project name is vw and uh, let's say login page okay created by promote and that you can do date i can select that okay it's it any any data in any guys just entering any random a 2023 don't crush me on this okay uh this is just a random date i am adding someone from 2025 is it doing it <laughs> okay okay so first one is basically login with login if you see i have added a one id login scenario with a valid user so i have entered a valid user what is the test case id i can have a one right uh, uh, pre condition make sure that page is loaded so page is loaded this is like a pre condition right and if you and if, so basically in this step it's to reduce step to execute right now you have to write properly you can write something like this very basic like okay open browser open a chrome browser or something like this but this is actually expected so you can directly jump into the directly that browser is open i mean this is like a pre condition so that's that's where i have written that it's the page is loaded make sure you do that and when it is I'm saying whenever I'm saying pages loaded, basically means you have opened a Chrome application and basically loaded a app.developer.com. This is simple, right? All right. So now basically navigate to the application, enter username, for example, abc.com and password this one. So this is where a test data that I have written and it's a valid username. This, I am assuming it right now. It's not a valid actually. Okay. Uh, you can create a new account and that will be valid. And you click on a sign up button or a sign in button, whatever it is. Okay. Let's make it like sign, sign in. Okay. Not a sign up button. Okay, expected results credential should work. So here, if you see, you I am writing should work. Okay, so this is ex whenever you write expectation, right? So it will be it will be similar to should. It should work. It should be this. It should be this. It should be this. And actual result is basically what happened with you. So link is working fine. Link is not working fine. Link basically gives you error. So right now it's it's in present. Okay, and you can write it out status. It's pass or fail whenever you are running it. And you can say who executed it or mix condition anything that you would like to discuss. Okay, so this is is this is the live example. And now I want you to write about the invalid scenarios. You can write it like four or five scenarios. So you can write it out. Okay, what happens if I basically enter a valid username but a wrong password? I will get a proper error. So you see if uh, here I'll enter a random link. So I'll give a uh, I'll get a this pop up right. So this uh, pop up not uh, this is a message right. So you can write it out. This is like this is my expected condition. right so this is uh, this is actually you need to do this is your homework for you guys write it down four or five test cases what happens if i enter a wrong username or wrong password right if i do a remember me what happens right those thing test cases you can write it down as a practice all right and this template guys uh, it's easy to download you can go to sd.live/tc uh, template okay this link right and you will you can directly copy it so just go to file file and create a copy of it okay make a copy for yourself and you can do that there is a sample also given so you can use reuse it okay all right i hope this is clear right and let's move on to the very interesting part which is best practices all right pay attention guys here make sure you are using the uh, so make sure your test steps to execute is clear and you basically get your test cases reviewed by someone okay this is very important add test test data in the pre condition so make sure you add test data also what are the username and password you can mention them because someone is going to execute it right suppose you are not executing it someone should know like what is the test data that you have used so you can mention that make sure your you get your test case reviewed by someone for example i will justly after completing this i will get it reviewed by amit okay write your test cases multi, i mean uh, write a better test cases for a multiple time at the same time case basically suppose you have to do 10 times a login page for a different you test data right so make sure you use a proper template where you basically enter that okay uh, by using this 10 credentials 
check the expected result that it is working fine or not okay so you can do smart work here the data driven testing right we call it data driven or excel based so whenever you have multiple things to do with the same, same test case you can say that uh, make it like a generic use this different type of test data and you can write a simple one test case and tell them that okay the test data differs and it has like five or ten instances okay so that is where it is uh, helpful improper test case can lead to bug this is really important make sure to do that test cases will give you clarity and it will basically give you a test coverage how much you have covered and it will basically reduce your bugs also okay make your test reusable it basically means uh, if uh, someone is also want to use a login page and some uh, second functionality is like dash dashboard right so they so you can write it that uh, write it like step two in this step to execute precondition is login page is working fine okay so you can reuse those things and you can mention that okay from test case to test one test case five this should work then only test this so if you have an interdependency also okay steps uh, specify the expected expected results and assumptions so you can as basically mention them in a proper comment that i am assuming this should this should work internet is present all the things you can write it down in the message okay so i hope this is clear guys i hope and these are the best practices and uh, this is a very important videos around the test how to write the test cases guys i hope you have liked it and if you need more videos like this as well as if you need a part two of this series where i will be writing more test case for a new live real project let me know in the comment i'll be happy to do that make sure you type, type the part two or a thank you message for me and if you are a notice subscriber please subscribe i'll see you in the next video